highlight the show that is going to take next year by storm is the band's visit. It has so far won everything, including the Lucille Lortel Award, shocking the entire theater world. Okay, guys, where, how do you feel about this overwhelming love for your show? Um, it's It feels great, and it's also um, really surprising. We, we were trying to make something very small and intimate and poetic, and we hoped it would move people. Um, but it's, but there's, there's something small scale um, about the show, and so we weren't sure it would have this wide of reach, and it's thrilling to learn that it does. It's really a wonderful affirmation. Again, I, I, I am tremendously grateful to, uh, to Eat Tomorrow, the book writer, for including me on this journey. This is my first uh, production in New York. Uh, and as I said, to have a, a Middle Eastern story gain this kind of positive visibility is a dream come true for me. Well, you guys are wonderful, and I look forward to watching this journey go full-fledged. Fingers crossed. Thank you. Great to meet you. One of the most talked about set designers right now is Mimi Lin for Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of 1812. This woman literally transported a theater. How did you do this? <laughs> uh, with a lot of help and a lot of like digging up old blueprints of the Im Imperial Theater. They did not have you know, no one had looked at those blueprints of the rest of the like the main part of the auditorium in a long time. Well, I think it's amazing because literally, you made what had happened in the tent and downtown so different and so unique. What was your vision? Like, where, what, where did you go? Um, well, the, the whole design concept from the beginning has been basically about like delivering performers to the audience. So about getting really close to the audience. So in every different space, basically I applied that principle. I mean, it definitely got harder and harder as the spaces got bigger and bigger. But, you know, at the Imperial, we're like, okay, let's just build a staircase and connect the stage with the mezzanine so that the actors can get up there. Well, it was truly wonderful and magical. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. For unique theatrical and projection design, we have... Reed Farrington. Sarah Farrington. From the Casablanca box. This was an amazing piece. Thank, Thank you. you. Where did you come up with this idea? We, 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 we like to think enormously, and we wanted to use the biggest thing we possibly could that everyone would know, so that then we could screw with the form of theater. That was kind of our goal. Uh, it's her idea. <laughs> well, it was both of our ideas. Can we see Casablanca's, I can't, Casablanca box moving or playing again? Uh, we hope so. Um, it was really huge. We, we, we'd love to tour it. We'd love to do it again. But we're the kind of, we're, we, I don't know, we're, we're constantly thinking forward like a freight train of ideas lately. So I don't know. We'd love to. Uh, yeah, we would love to. We, yeah. yeah, we would tour it and we would do it again. Sure. No, I would love to see it again, but it was such a short run. I know it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It was sort of a, this ex fireball of experimental theater that just like ended. So we, we'd love to see it again. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.